Good late morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. <clears throat> Pardon me. Whenever I get a comment on my phone and click it, it goes to the video. It kind of plays again, whatever. So this was, uh, I was reminded of that. I got a comment on the Israel uh, bootlicking video from yesterday. It must have been, yes. And uh, it just reminded me of when I was studying wholeheartedly, I might add, ladies and gentlemen, Judaism and, oh my, you know, going in front of a Beit Din and the mikvah and all that jazz. Okay. At one point, I was in communication with a gentleman by the name of Rabbi Tovia Singer, a Zionist to the max, loyal to Israel to the max. He's the reason why we uh, found an interest in Judaism, actually. But he was almost obsessed with I must have a Jew in the woodpile kind of behavior. I guess going along with the myth that Jews are a race, which they are not, ladies and gentlemen, it's a religion. This whole deal about being related to the Hebrews of the ancient texts and the biblical narrative is totally, there's no proof for it, basically. And you can look up some uh, historians and anthropologists or the, they the ones that study the I get my ologists confused sometimes you have to forgive me and not only I'm seeming a little bit punchy right now I didn't get enough sleep last night and um, so that's why uh, yeah with okay he was almost obsessed with um, my mother's maiden name no wait a minute that wasn't even okay her family name was Fisher and he didn't know anybody that, with Fisher and their family that wasn't, you know, Jewish originally and, you know, so on and so forth. My father's family, uh, although my father was adopted, but anyhow, it's another story altogether. Uh, they were German Jews. They were, you know, they practiced the religion of Judaism in Germany at one point, but they all flipped over and, my goodness, one became a minister and all this jazz when they came over, you know, from the land <laughs> over yonder. But at any rate, I don't know. I just find it odd how obsessed these people are. Another thing that really upset me whenever, uh, you know, I was married at this time. And um, we were probably more faithful Jews than the actual Jews were with whom we were mingling at various synagogues when we were soul shopping and whatnot. Shopping for a synagogue. And we got really kind of mad, I did, that uh, you had to, you know, officially go through this whole year of study and reading books and there's, you know, ritual ba baths and ritual this, that, and the other before you'd be considered to be counted in the, um, oh my God, I forgot the name of it. A minion, isn't it? A minion? No, oh, is that right? Oh my word, I'm forgetting my, it's a gathering of 10 Jews needed in order to do certain portions of the Torah, of the Torah, um, service. Oh my God, is it a minion? That sounds funny. We need a minion. I think that's it. I don't know. There's minion, there's mikvah, there's mitzvah. I think it's minion. But at any rate, I couldn't be counted until I officially went through all this study for a year, which I was totally into. Anyhow, I just, I just think it's odd. The whole thing's strange that they really want you to have a Jew in the woodpile, I guess. And, um on mother's side of the family. And it's always, you know, it's through the woman. Oh my God, I'm just jibber jabbering on and wildly, all because I was reminded of that video, you know, uh, boot looking uh, for Israel for in front of APAC. You guys think the NRA, you all, excuse me, think that um, the NRA is powerful, and it is, but really the most powerful lobby is APAC. Do you know what they do? So they'll actually take um, young upcoming city council members and whatnot running for a position. I don't, I'm just going to make this up in San Diego or something. Uh, if uh, person X is going as a councilman or fixing to be a councilman, what they will do is they'll take the entire council on a all expense paid trip to the land of the Holy land of Israel so that they're more apt to go along with the shenanigans and stuff. They really own our politicians that, state level, at the federal level, at the, you know, local, county, whatever. I don't know about the county, but um, it's just unbelievable. I don't know why I am gibbering on about this, but I hope you find something 
out of it other than just the ramblings of a mad woman on her front porch with a V cut in her shirt. I can't stand... I like V-necks, actually, ladies and gentlemen. It comes from the days when I was quite a bit heavier. Believe it or not, I was even chubbier than I am now. And um, and I'm not tall, exactly. I'm barely 5'4". So, um, like, if you wear V-necks and sort of layers, it gives you the illusion of thinness. The things us women go through, we women. Yeah. I have to make sure I'm appropriate for Nicholas at all times here, ladies and gentlemen. Anyhow, okay, that's all. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me wondering why are people obsessed with so-called Jewish blood when there's no such thing? There really isn't. It's just they want to make a connection to this ancient Hebrews that wandered wildly in the desert for 40 years, for which there's no archaeological proof, I might add. Um, yeah, I recommend um, Elon Pape. Elon Pape. I-L-A-N-P-A-P-P-E, I think, and I'm sorry if my accent is not correct. I was born and raised here in the United States. Get me out of here! Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while bloviating madly about Jewish blood.